What's up, armies? This is Jay Himangi here uh, to talk to you today about the gossip that's been going on, sort of a scandal, I suppose, about uh, Jin and La Boom's Sorbin. Um, I'm here to explain the cultural context between what happened so that you can have a better understanding of the exact meaning of their words. Like, as you know, in Korea, there's um, they carry a lot of Uh, sort of different types of relationships with the way you speak to somebody and uh, the way you speak to somebody is very telling of the type of relationship that you have so i'm here to explain all that um as you know these two people were mcs at music bank the most recent music bank which was um two days ago and um there was la boom did a v live where Jin was captured knocking on their door to say "sugoesso," and uh, what I want to explain is that while they were doing the V Live and saying their goodbyes, you can actually hear in the background, okay, people outside thanking each other. "Sugoesso, sugoesumida." You've worked hard. You've done a good job. Um, you've put in a lot of effort. And so that's what's going on outside the door to La Boom. So it was not as if Jin made a specific trip to the La Boom dressing room to talk to Sorbin or anything like that. So that is a thing that I would like for you guys to understand. Um, another thing is um, since Jin is five years older than Sorbin, he can drop the uh, polite speech which is the yo like if uh, i were to talk to you guys because you guys are strangers to me i would have said and um that's like the formal or polite ways to say things but jin doesn't have to say that to her because i mean they know each other plus he's five years older than her so it's all right but for her to say yeah kim sokjin that is actually considered really rude and um we all know that if jungkook were to say such a thing to jin he would be mad jimin would be mad at jungkook and things like that so we don't know what happens after so but it is a, a, an indicator of two things it could be that she's close to jin um or it could be she's very rude so let's have a listen at what goes on you can try to hear what goes on in the background <laughs> Okay, so you've heard by now. I hope that you tried to observe or at least listen very carefully um, because as soon as I stopped speaking earlier, you definitely could hear a lot of the um, voices outside the door of this room uh, where you can hear people and especially Jin's voice thanking everyone. Sugoesumida, you know, and, th- and stuff like that. And there were knocks on the door. And then when the door opened, uh, some of the other girls peered out and Jin is like, Annyeong. So this shows that Jin was just being a good uh, sambe, which is like, someone of a like who debuted first before them and uh and uh he was just being kind to his you know younger juniors so the thing is um personally it is very considered pretty rude for her to say ya yeah, kim seok jin and not call him oppa or anything like that um and Even if two people are close, they are not allowed to drop the honorific. I just really need to clear that up for you. No matter how close you are, if you are younger, you cannot drop the hyung, oppa, onni, or nuna. It's really, really important in Korean culture because it shows your age and um, sort of your, your position. So tell me what you think in the comments. I hope I've helped you clear this up. All right? Bye!